This video will be going over how to use the filter data on map button. And filter data on map is how you can look at an individual column and then filter out those, uh, those points that you don't need. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at our data. Uh, this is an Excel spreadsheet with all of my customers. Uh, you always want to consolidate when you can. Uh, spreadsheet so you don't have multiple data sets and you just break up everything with different columns. So we have an account name, we have address, city, state, zip, uh, and then the, we have columns that we might filter data by. We have sales and we have customer type. So now that uh, we've taken a look at the spreadsheet, I'm going to use my plot data on map button and pull in a spreadsheet of data. I'm going to just browse to that same spreadsheet and we'll just click next. And you can see that the program is able to identify the columns of the spreadsheet based on the headers. We'll just click plot data on map and this will give us points all over the map. Uh, and it'll also pull up our data window. Our data window is what we're going to be using to filter the data on the map with. So you can see that I have uh, my spreadsheet here. It's essentially everything that I saw in Excel. And this is the button called filter data rows that we're going to eventually be using. The first thing I'm going to do is use my uh, color code with symbols tool just so I can differentiate those points based on a column of the spreadsheet. And so I'm going to have it look, rather than my sales, I'm going to have it look at my customer type column. I'll just leave them all the same size. Uh, every value has a different color, and we click Done. So now I can see I have my legend here with my affiliate referrals, customer referral, house account, and so on. They're all different colored dots. So let's now use our filter data on map tool. So we're going to go up to the data window, and we're going to click on filter data rows. Now I can use this if I wanted to filter out those just in a particular state, or I can choose any other column of my spreadsheet. In this case, I'm going to do customer type. And I want to show just my house accounts on the screen, so just the red dots. So I'm going to change this top none to equals, and then I'm going to type it in exactly as I have it in the spreadsheet. House account, click filter. So now in my data window, I can see I have 27 out of a possible 452 on the map. So what that's done so far is just filtered it in the data window. If I want that reflected in the map, I go back and I click this filter data on map. So now if I zoom out, I'm only going to see those red dots uh, because I clicked filter data on map. I can then add a second piece of criteria if I want to. And I can click add criteria. And let's say that I only want to see uh, the house accounts in Massachusetts. So from this pull-down list, maybe I choose state this time. Make that equal to Massachusetts. Click filter. And now I'm down to 4 out of 452. I can either uncheck and recheck this filter data on map box, or I can just click this little refresh button. And so now I am refreshed with just those four house accounts on my map. I can then export this data with this button on the end, and it'll export that to a CSV. If you have any questions, please let us know. Have a great day.